you ever hear a story that scares you at daytime? Well, I got a story for you all tonight. Go read the ghost stories of Ulster tonight. Don't get scared now, guys. I have not read this book in a long, long time. I found a couple of haunted spots in this book I read, read last night. So tonight I plan to do this on a, on a video tonight. First thing first, hit that subscribe button guy, turn the notification bell on so you won't miss any Halloween uploads I'm going to be doing this month. Since it's nearly Halloween. All being said, let's see what this big has in store for us tonight. As you can see, it's 3am in the morning. We're in the devil's area, guys, and we're going to see what this ghost book has in store for us. I have not read this ghost book since last Halloween, the last time I read it. I found a couple of hot spots in it, so I want to do a video for you guys to show you what our bangers you can. There's loads of bangers in this here, but it's unbelievable. I've done a couple of videos on this ghost book before. And we all know what happens when I do read this book. The lights flickered. Oh, and seeing is a good way to put it. Something else is scarier to you more in this book. So you stay, guys. It's this picture here. That's the most creepiest one of them all. This, this goes by a normal girl face. An automatic. It changes into a face of a zombie. God, that is so creepy. If you walk past a haunted house and you see that portrait on a wall, it's, it, it's so creepy. To make things worse, guys, every time you go here, except the eyes are watching your every move. Oh, that is so creepy. It's come past a haunted house or castle or whatever or hotel. You saw his poetry in the wall. One thing you walk by is it was just normal girl's face, but you get close to it, it changes into a form of a zombie. It's, it's, oh, that is completely creepy.com. How can you imagine walking well, past the haunted house and see that looking at you? It's creepy 100% there. One thing creepy about this big guy is this phantom that's just being standing there. It's as if that ghost, it's just as if you're walking past a graveyard, guys, late at night. And you've seen this thing. Watching you. Oh my god, that's creepy as crap. And let's see, this book has its store for us today. It's all the haunted hot spots that is haunted in Northern Ireland. Every single one of these locations. That is 100% haunted. I plan to do a, a series, guys, on one of these castles. Hopefully all of them. I do what I make those. So go to these locations. I'm talking about every single spot in the haunted castle or hotel or house. Because every anything paranormal a ram's island is the series is coming very soon guys it's gonna be for the warmer weather it's just too cold to do it at the minute the grammar road the grammar road jail is also a haunted hotspot i have been there a couple of times before i had youtube and i seen a rope Going back and forth, back and forth, 
by itself. No one was near it. Only I saw it. My roommates that was with me were walked on, but I stayed behind. And I saw that rope dangling by itself, going back and forth by itself. So that's one hunt. Hunt husband and groom road and I'm going to check out. With this cover around this, plenty of places are still closed. But hopefully, hoping to do that there, see us very soon. And also, Spring Hill House is also hot too. It says that a ghost store appears. It says a ghost store appears behind playing a bedroom in some haunted room in that Spring Hill house at about 3 a.m. and shows up. I have still have not seen it. I have never spent overnight in Spring Hill house before. But I'm planning to do that there. See us very soon. I heard loads of stories about Spring Hill house as well there's more than a haunted door let me tell you that. Also, there's this phantom female ghost. At late at night, guys. Some camp people that camped there one eve, camped there a decade ago, said she seen this ghost woman floating around the garden. Not walking, floating around the garden. And also, they all said this is a female ghost, guys. They all said this female ghost is friendly says he watches you sleep at night not joking i read but this in google i researched it i said this female ghost watches you when you sleep at night i don't know what time of the night she comes but that's a couple haunted hotspots in spring hill house i'm going to be documenting very soon it's an absolute banger let me tell you that, guys. There, I see a couple of more haunted hotspots. It also haunts a police station. It's creepy as hell, too. All these haunted, haunted, these haunted hotspots I've shown you guys are all haunted. I'm going to check every one of these haunted hotspots out very soon. Whoa, the Banshee of Sheen's Castle? A, ba a Banshee? Whoa, a Banshee? Unbelievable. Well, we're definitely going to check that one out, guys. A Banshee? The Banshee, well, the Banshee of Sheen's Castle. The Riddle Island Banshee Quadrum. Then you check the name out, guys. Whoa. I heard the call of the Banshee before. Right back in the 90s, I think it was 1987, I heard the call of the Banshee before too. I know she assist. No doubt about that. Whoa, that tree looks creepy, hey. With all those big. F oh, and the fog bank and this tree appeared out of nowhere. But I ain't going close to it, it looks so, so, so creepy. I thought there'd be a crow sitting on it as well, but it's not. But it's so creepy. 
intact. I saw you something else that's creepy guys as well. Guys, yeah, so I was looking through this book last night and this is what I saw in it. The picture of a real ghost standing in a forest road. This guy okay, she's just sitting that should be standing let's see close up here. Look she's standing looking at something in the forest. I don't know what she's looking at, but that's the most creepiest picture ever. It's a picture of a real ghost. That's hundred percent a real ghost there guys. No doubt about it. Is that fake? Is that Anything else but it's a picture of a real ghost right there. Dressed in a white gown, standing in the middle of a forest lane. I saw this last night, but I was looking through this book, guys. I can't believe what I saw. It's like a picture of a female ghost dressed in a white gown. Looks more like a wedding dress. You know, a white girl like that, you know, you get wedding dresses like that. That's what she is dressed up like. She's dressed in her white gown. And that's a ghost. Because her arms, her hand are all white too. That's her set banger there. That's a banger. If you guys haven't seen a real ghost before, there's one right there. That's hundred percent ghost. I wonder if it's this story says anything but this ghost. I need to read on and see. Let's see if it says anything but that ghost stand right there. Chapter one Haunted Castle. Nearly every old castle's ghost story linked to it and those in Austria are no exception. Down the road, been an Irishman coast about 40 miles from Belfast. There has been a castle since 1242. It was built in the Norman John Bested. The castle has been in the MacDonald family for over 400 years. A female ghostly saints have been reported over its long history. 19th century, the same female ghosts observed by many people walking near the guest bedrooms. Wait, female ghost? Does that mean this ghost right here? That's because that's female. Let's see, do we don't see? She was described as a tall, wearing an old fashioned dress, guys. On Philly Bonnet. Had to be her. A group of children who also advised playing in the gardens with with her pros they simply disappeared. Another sign of all the ghostly male figure dressed in the uniform that also seemed to be in a hurry, but vanished near the front porch. So they must be on about that ghost in the photograph. And they mentioned that they're a female ghost. It has to be. But that there is the most creepiest picture of this book. That's a 100% a real ghost. Right there, guys. I can read you Spring Hill House when I tell you about all the haunted hotspots in it I've been telling you about guys. There are a number of ghosts linked with this banner house. They manage from the National Trust who was built over the hundred years by good will. The main ghost is also Oliver Lake one, I think. Whoops, sorry about that guys. The widow of Corrine, an army officer, which was the way he heard that his children was fright. It was smallpox. He abandoned his post and came home a leer face a court. After his family survived, one of his daughters later died. Corrine became very depressed and 
scuttle one particular night his wife sensing he was about to take his life whoa rushed to his room but she was too late it's claimed that her ghost had seen the top of the oak jerky raising her arms in despair she rushes to the same room four feet away she's known forever as a friendly ghost remember I told you she loves to visit see visitors to her former home her ghost has seen sun over the children of the house as they sleep see I told you this, this ghost watches you when they sleep once certainly that there is safe to disappear this game seems to be a friendly ghost like it's not really not all wrong with her. She's friendly enough. What do you guys think? It's late in this room. It's lighting up this book. <laughs> Another story contains the first few years staying in the blue room at Spring Hill House just upstairs. She woke to see a group of came to service room as well as spurred as someone coming out of the door behind her with a camera down the visitor. As he fell asleep in the room, realised that there was no door. So the door behind the bed was tiny as by when a spirit had entered the room the night before. A breakfast seat mentioned that still had happened. I was told that there was indeed a door with a beam pasted over. Some years later, the door reopened to reveal a powder closet. There was an old pair of gloves, small ports with contained small balls lying on the floor with the of the blue room. Some things are known. The move are right through. No one has been inside. Some items could disappear. Grey lady has been seen in the room. She touches the coat. Oh, so creepy, guys. Why not do that series? Very soon. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The light just went off. Oh my god. The lights starting to flicker off in here now guys.